Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, 6.09. <laughs> Day after fall break. I get ahead with my schoolwork. Because <sighs> it was tired. I barely did like the work that we do. <laughs> yeah, it was basically sitting around. <clears throat> also, though, I have like a cough and congestion and whatnot, which was unexpected. <laughs> um, well, yesterday I did get my hair done. But yeah, that was about it. Mm. <laughs> and then yesterday, like when I was at the salon, I had a mask on, but I was trying so hard not to cough, but like. Like, tears were literally coming out my eyes from trying not to cough, but I couldn't hold it back anymore. Just like a tickle in my throat. Luckily, I brought my water with me. Like, five and a half weeks. Almost six weeks, basically. And I didn't realize that basically this November is almost, almost five weeks. Not quite, but almost. <coughs> so, Thanksgiving, we actually have like another week in November after Thanksgiving break. <clears throat> so that should be loads of fun. But <coughs> I did, <coughs> I did hear back from that tutoring company. Um, they don't have like any actual full-time positions, but I did sign up to be a sub for a couple of days. So my first day would be the 17th. I'm gonna just do one day that week so I can see how it goes and stuff. And then I signed up for two days a week after that. So <clears throat> I figure I can handle two days a week, two hours. Um, so I'll alternate between like Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday. <coughs> okay, but I need to work on that. IEP. So that's what I'll be doing this morning. As well as looking at lesson plans and stuff and see And I will check in with you guys later. Alright, 12.05 is my planning period. My head is killing me. My throat is starting to hurt more. <clears throat> like especially when I'm talking. <clears throat> I just feel awful. If we didn't have that IEP meeting tomorrow, I might, I would probably call off. But I'll still have to get the emergency sub thing together as well. Because it's supposed to be due tomorrow. With, I don't know. I feel like I need to finish this IEP. <coughs> so, this one I'll work on. Because I didn't do much this morning. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize that I had the fourth grade teacher guide instead of the third grade until I was trying to prepare for it. And I was like, wait, what? This don't match the lesson plan. Um, so the academic coach came and bought me the third grade. And she said I could keep the fourth grade since I do co-teach. So I'm like, okay, good. So I'm gonna look ahead and see what they're doing tomorrow. That way, if I need to pull a group, depending on activity, like today they were walking around in groups, but the groups were split up so that the ones who couldn't read, they were with people who could. So. But if they have like independent, like something they have to write, then I might pull them to the table or whatnot. So we shall see. Third grade, we're moving into informational. <coughs> Talk about frogs specifically. And then the performance tax for the end performance task for the end of the thing. <laughs> I'm supposed to create a book about a frog as well as like a trading card. And then they're supposed to and then I guess other students are supposed to read their book and look at the card. And then there's supposed to be some game we're supposed to play. <laughs> oh, okay. I might make me some coffee. I'm exhausted. Someone came in, one of the AP well, the fourth grade AP came in. I'm pretty sure it's for my co-teacher and not me, but the time that she came in didn't make any sense because it was supposed to be the time that we were doing rotations, but 
they were doing their independent practice still because it takes some of them forever. I still haven't tried the thing where I take a nap when I first get home and then get up and see if that makes a difference. I may try that today because I'm exhausted. Set an alarm so I don't oversleep. If I'm able to sleep, hopefully. But I'll be checking with you guys later. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, 6:23. Just now arriving because I didn't leave my apartment as early as I should have. Because I didn't get up right away when my alarm went off. I was so tired. <laughs> And then I stopped by Starbucks, and they were extra slow today. But yeah, so I have my first IEP meeting today. Annual it shouldn't take too long, besides the fact that we have the complete stuff in the meeting. Like, almost half of it. <laughs> That's the part that we take in a while. Cause sometimes the system is slow and stuff, so. So my room share teacher is also sick. Like she was starting to lose her voice yesterday. But then she said like she didn't have any more days that she could take off. So I don't know. So we're supposed to have uh well we start district assessment today. So math is today and then it said either tomorrow or Friday would be ELA. And then next week science social day. So I don't know. Um, it's during math time, which is in the morning before the meeting, so that's not the problem. I'm still debating whether or not what to do that district mentor thing. Um, I didn't like put in the leave for it because I might not do it because uh, I don't really need to. It would just be a day out of school, but. But at the district office all day, I'm like, and they also said to have, like, you need to have an IEP that you're working on. And at that time, I won't have one that I'm working on. So, and also, I'm thinking about taking like a day off in November. I'm gonna have to do it at least half a day because of my dentist appointment and this new principal don't want us to just do like a couple of hours. Because uh, it's that too. So I do have students at that time, but they could stay in their home room, honestly. Oh, okay. I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason, I was thinking <laughs> I was getting my times confused because half day is at 1130, and for some reason, I thought I would have. It's because my lunch starts at 11.05. Is that 11? So I was like, wait. For some reason, I was thinking fifth grade writing started at 11.25, but it doesn't. It starts a little bit, so I can do a half day. Yeah, so there's like a... So now with this period, I want the meeting to be done via Zoom. <coughs> okay. I don't know how this works. Wait, everybody need the Zoom link? <laughs> so good. Uh, do I still? Okay. This is annoying. <laughs> and then she said that after hour. I was thinking about taking that date that I have my dentist appointment. Doing like a personal day or maybe just like a regular sick day. I don't know. <coughs> There's some day in November that we have a digital learning day. Let's see on this calendar. I don't know how they want Zoom meetings to be done. Anyways, I think I'm going to just send an email to my other teacher, the fifth grade teachers, and tell them to keep them. Well, I don't know. If it's going to be on Zoom, though, I guess I don't really need to. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways, let me go ahead and get prepared for this morning, and I will check in with you guys later. Alright, 2.37, we <laughs> finally update you guys, so no meeting today because the parent didn't show up even though it was supposed to be via Zoom. So she, she messaged me and said that, asked if she could reschedule it to Friday or Monday because she has those things off. Even though I'm pretty sure I put Friday as one of the choices. 
Yes, because I put Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Before. Whatever. The IEP is done, so I don't need to worry about that. And then, instead of going to my co-teach in the afternoon, I went and did the thing we had to do for our evaluation. We had to do the REBIS thing, which we do every year, basically related to student achievement, basically. <laughs> yeah, so I went ahead and did that, so I won't have to like make it up at a later date. And yeah, and then the third graders were still testing. My room share teacher is gonna be out because she's gonna be at the district office tomorrow. So she asked me to pull a student because one student has like individual assessment. So, and their time would be like the time that I'm supposed to have the third graders for reading. But I think the third grader, they might be testing at that time too. So it kind of works out. So I'm gonna pull that student to test. And then they have not switched schedules yet because apparently the principal wanted to meet with them, everybody that was in the meeting to discuss because the parent you know, still had a bunch of questions. So the principal wanted to meet and I guess they're supposed to switch tomorrow. And then that other teacher who's on maternity leave, I think it's supposed to be back Monday. I thought she would be back yesterday. She's gonna be back Monday, so yeah. But that's basically it for today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is Thursday, 6.15. Yesterday at the work, I stopped by Publix. I thought there was a QT near that Publix that I went to, but there wasn't. So I had to stop to get gas this morning. Yeah. So, I don't know why I prepared stuff for today for third grade reading when they're going to be testing at that time. And I'll be testing a student at that time too, so. <laughs> <coughs> I realized yesterday, I think when I got home, that I forgot to finish the emergency plan. Like the 10 days of lesson plans were done, but there's other stuff that we're supposed to include. And I forgot to do that. And we didn't really have time yesterday because during our planning, we had to do that thing, so. So I need to finish that this morning. Otherwise, it's ELA district assessment today. So I need to go ahead and open that test for my third graders. Otherwise, that's basically it. Yeah. ELA. Okay, yeah, I need to open that. Okay. Mm. Let me see if I can see their math grade. <laughs> yesterday. Um, one of them didn't finish it looks like. It was about expected. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Ow. Where's the unit 2 assessment? Because I don't think it... So of course we have a duty for conference. I still have to choose a day and what day I'm going to stay until 7. That's why I'm only going to be doing the tutoring one day next week because of conferences. Mondays are late days, so I mean, I guess I could because I could probably get there at 4.30, but like, I'm just not going to work Monday. Yeah, also got some Starbucks. Oh, so these pants, uh, you can't see work in a better view. Okay, these pants from JCPenney because uh, Musk Oh, my university sent coupon code for SC. So I had to roll them because they're super long. And also these boots are also JCPenney. So. Yeah. And then I got a couple of dresses and I got a shirt that was on like clearance. The dresses are like warm because they're like long sleeves and kind of thick material. So, okay. That's going to be it for right now. I need to do a couple of things. Okay, this thing is the... She wanted us to sign up for, I guess, a duty during attendance, but... Okay. I will check with you guys later. Alright, it's 11.10. Lunchtime. 
hand is hurting. I don't know when the other fifth graders are going to be doing their test um, because my room share teacher's not here and originally she's the one that was testing them. So another teacher is going to be testing them, but I don't know when. So I don't know if they're going to be coming in here or not. <laughs> so, I guess we'll see. Ooh, my head is hurting. Um, so the fourth graders, they will be doing their test after specials. And then during planning, we'll also meet again for something, for I ready something or another. I don't know. I think I'm done with my subfolder. Um, <clears throat> Once I print the stuff, but yeah, so I'm about to eat. I did pull that one student to do his individual testing. I was worried at first that we wouldn't have enough time, but we did, so that was good. Okay, I will check in with you guys later. All right, 2:50. <clears throat> I don't know where the third graders were at. <clears throat> so right after we finish testing. At 145, I went straight downstairs. They weren't in there, so I came back up, waited about five minutes, went back downstairs, still weren't in their room. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, I did what I was supposed to do. <coughs> <coughs> but one student, because uh, three of the fourth grade teachers were out <laughs> today, I think. This they also do the new teacher first low, first low mentor for all thing. Grades, buses 16, 18, 11. Uh, one student, his teacher didn't have the test open. So there's like, if they don't test, do make up in the afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. So I don't know. I guess it depends on if the teacher is here. Because and... <coughs> one of the other teachers that wasn't here, she had a instructional support person in there that did the test with the whole class. The, I don't know. But I have that meeting, the IEP meeting that was rescheduled tomorrow. The parent better be here. Cause she's like, it's her day off. So, sent home another notice of meeting with the other student cause I still haven't gotten the first one back. So I just like, let me send another one. So I need to know ahead of time if I need to schedule an interpreter. So, kind of important. Yeah, so I'm going to just work on some schoolwork until it's time to go. And then go straight home. Don't need to stop anywhere. Yesterday I stopped by Publix in the afternoon. But not today. I'm going straight home. I need to print word cards for the word wall. And that's going to be it for then today. I'm going to talk with you guys tomorrow. I need to remember to bring mm, some more water because I'm actually about to run out. This never happens. Which is surprising, and this is surprising because it's a short week and the week's not even over. Like normally on Friday, a lot of times it's like halfway. But, okay. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's 7.03. I've been here since like 6.15, just been doing some work. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly where the third graders are like what lesson they're on for reading since I missed because of testing <laughs> so I don't know if they did stuff in their class or not and then same thing with math I'm just gonna do today's lesson <laughs> um, and then have IEP meeting hopefully that parent shows up on time and we can be done with that because <laughs> <I'm t> <laughs> yeah we need to be done with that so I'm probably going to send my fifth grade teacher a message for them to just keep the students so I can prepare because I would need to go down like 11.50 just to be on the safe side if they come early. That one student who I wasn't able to test yesterday, I'm supposed to test, try to test today. Because um, like I said, that teacher didn't have the test up, but she's here. So hopefully, I'm hoping that the IEP meeting won't last too long that will be done by the time they're finished with special. Um, so right after special is skills, so I could test that student doing skills so I could still get the third graders during their math time. <coughs> so we'll see if that works. Yeah, I forgot to print yesterday when I went home, like, <laughs> and then I ended up falling, going to sleep early. 
But then they caused me to wake up early and I was awake for like maybe three hours. That's gonna be it for now. I will check in with you guys later. All right, 11, 18, lunch time. Got a pair message from the parent from the meeting asking for the Zoom link, because apparently she don't have a vehicle. But her child came to school late, so I don't know how that child got here. We just thought he was gonna be absent. Uh, but I'm like, hey, I might try to do like a condensed version. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad it's on Zoom, because I feel like it'll go a bit quicker. So, yeah. <clears throat> But apparently they have a different format they want us to use, but they didn't send it out to everybody. Because my mentor teacher, she went to the thing yesterday, the mentor mentee thing. And they told them that in person and gave them a packet of stuff. And I'm like, why don't they send that out to everybody? But anyway, so since I have time, I'm going to go ahead and update that. Use the bathroom. And yeah, I will check in with you guys later. 2.41, dismissal time. Whew, just ran back up there to give students progress reports for IEP go. So I'm gonna send home a parent square message real quick so they know. <sighs> parent showed up via Zoom for the meeting, so that is done. Sort of, I just had to send signature pages with the student for the parent to sign. So hopefully they bring that back on Monday. <sighs> and then I can make copies of everything and upload stuff. So. But Monday should be a late Monday anyway, so I might have some time then. But some homework. Um, apparently, for that one class, when we did the spelling thing, we had to fill out the analysis sheet. Apparently, she also wanted us to include the actual spelling test, but she didn't say that in the instruction. So I guess most of us didn't. <laughs> so I need to go scan that when I get home. Go ahead and scan the other thing as well, the writing. And I said I would do another part of our project so i need to do that as well i'm going into all of that today tomorrow i don't really have any plans this weekend so regular stuff grocery laundry i'm gonna try and go to the gym saturday and sunday at least but that's gonna be it for this video i see you guys next week <laughs>